Two minute warning here. If you need to step out to the restroom or if, uh, if you can hear me downstairs, I have y'all come on up.
Well, good afternoon. It's good to have each of you here. And uh, Dick, would you do me a favor? Gosh, he can't hear me. Uh, let's see who. Joe, would you check and make sure the panic bar? Let's make sure they can get in here. Okay, is the panic bar set where they can open the door? The panic bar. Okay, good, good. Because I had released it when I went down. I wasn't sure if it got corrected or not. All right. Well, again, it's good to have you guys here this afternoon for a concert. And we're excited to have uh, Peyton Shawley with us. Peyton has finished his second year at Pensacola Christian College uh, down in Pensacola, Florida. And so uh, he's studying music and hopes to go on and get his master's degree and eventually his doctor's degree in music. I hope he is able to accomplish that. But we've been very blessed to have their family here with us for what? How many years now? Seven, Seven years. And so as we've watched them grow and uh, become more proficient, uh, it's, it's really exciting. And then to go ahead and use these talents and skills for the Lord is really the goal that we have here. So uh, we're excited about that. And for those of you that are visiting, we want to welcome you here this afternoon as well. If you would, take your hymnal, please. And we're going we're gonna to be singing some, as, uh, and then uh, Peyton will be playing as well as playing instrumental numbers. But uh, we're just going to make this an afternoon of worship. And so we want to start with page 36, He is Exalted. And let's sing that together, please. <laughs> Exalted on high, I will praise him. He is exalted forever, exalted, and I will praise his name. He is the Lord, forever his truth shall reign. Heaven and earth rejoice in his hope. exalted on high. He is exalted, the King is exalted on high. I will praise Him. He is exalted forever, exalted. And I will praise His name. We thank you that we can be in your house today and what a wonderful lunch and time of fellowship and Lord now to be able to just praise you and worship you and to be able to hear songs of praise and worship as well. I thank you for each one that's here. I pray that you'd bless their lives, bless their families, Lord, and help us to just to enjoy uh, fellowship with one another in Christ. I ask again your blessing upon us now in Jesus' name. Amen. If you would, take your hymnal and turn over to 118. The scripture at the beginning of this song says, His name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God. We see these on Christmas cards, don't we? The whole verse. But there's a great message there. His name is Wonderful. His name is Wonderful. He's a great 
ask you if you would, there's three songs, Jewish medley, that uh, Peyton will be playing. And I want us to take a look at the words, if we could, before we actually hear it performed. And so if you turn to page 716, and what I'd like you to do is we're going to read those words together. And we'll read them as though we were singing them. So the very first one, we'll go back and we'll pick up and, and so forth. But again, uh, just considering who the Lord is. Again, Jehovah Jireh means provider. It means he's going to meet our needs. And so when we think about the needs that we have, again, it's our God who makes, meets those needs. And so let's read that song together here. It says, Jehovah Jireh. My provider, his grace is sufficient for me. For me. me, for me, right? Jehovah Jireh, my provider, his grace is sufficient for me. My God shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory. He gives his angels charge over me. Jehovah Jireh cares for me, for me, for me. Jehovah Jireh cares for me. And then the next song is going to, that he's going to play is one that, again, uh, you know, if he put it in here. Uh, oh, okay, good. Page 729. Peter Dodd is our worship leader. Unfortunately, one of their family members passed away, so he was not able to be here this afternoon to lead us in worship. He's with a family gathering uh, and again, as they're rejoicing, actually, uh, the lady was, I think, about 91 or 92, somewhere much older and loved the Lord, served the Lord, and was uh, actively involved in missions work with her husband, planting churches, and God called her home. So they're actually having a celebration today uh, with the family. But the victory song, again, it says, and let's read this together. Through our God, we shall do valiantly. It is he who will tread down our enemy. We'll sing and shout the victory. Christ is king. For God has won the victory and set his people free. His word has slain the enemy. The earth shall stand and see that through our God, we shall do valiantly. It is he who will tread down our enemy. We'll sing and shout the victory. And I will, let's shout it. Christ is our king. Christ is our king. Christ is our king. And then the last song is on 764. The scripture that goes with this song is, Ye shall go out with joy, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. From Isaiah 55, 12. Let's read those words together. Ye shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace. The mountains and the hills will break forth before you. There will be shouts of joy, and all the trees of the field will clap, will clap their hands. And all the trees of the field will clap their hands. The trees of the field will clap their hands. The trees of the field will clap their hands while you go out with joy. Let's enjoy now this medley by Peyton.
because it wouldn't have taken long we'd have been going around in a circle on that one right so uh, anyway I, I was just picturing that in my mind especially when you started out very slow the third third song there I could just picture what was it uh, Fiddler on the Roof I could just picture him doing those slow kicks and so and then going you know taking off so thank you very much take your hymnals again and turn over to page three page three this is a hymn that we're very familiar with as far as the melody and usually at least the first stanza but there's a there's a story behind this hymn these verses were of scripture were inspired by a pastor whose name was uh, uh, Reginald Heber to write the hymn Holy 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 he served as the pastor of the congregation in an obscure village in Hodnap in western England from 1807 to 1823 his church was celebrating Trinity Sunday and he desired to teach his congregation about the essential truths of the triune God. And as we look carefully at the hymn, not only does it speak about the three persons of the Trinity, it speaks in a series of trinities. Verse 1, if you'll notice, contains the trinity of God's attributes, his holiness, his mercy, and his, and his might. Verse 2 includes a trinity of time. The fact that he worked or was and are and evermore shall be. Verse 3 contains another trinity of God's attributes, his power, his love, and his purity. And the fourth verse concludes with the trinity defining the scope of God's control, his control over the earth, the sky, and the sea. Pastor Heber's attempt to clarify the Trinity for his congregation in this small town has made a lasting impact in congregations all over the world. After pastoring in England for 16 years, he longed to serve the Lord on the foreign mission field. He went to India and served as the Bishop of Calcutta. The pressures of his work, along with the humid climate, wore heavily on his health. One Sunday morning, after preaching to a large outdoor crowd, he suffered a sunstroke and died very suddenly at the age of 43. <laughs> Although his life was relatively short, let me get my breath here. Although his life was relatively short, it has influenced believers throughout the century following his death. And there is no doubt that as long as Chris, Christians sing, they will raise their voices to sing Pastor Heber's beautiful hymn of worship, Holy, Holy, Holy. The words of the scripture where, that was used for this song came from Isaiah 6.3. And those words are, Holy, Holy, Holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. And again in Revelation 4, 8, it says, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, which was and is and is to come. I know when the first time I ever really heard this song was when I was a student down in Tennessee. And we were in a chapel called Phillips Chapel, which was probably seated about 500, 600 people. And it was the old dark wood, kind of like uh, the church up here in Oberlin. Um, Finney Chapel. A lot like Finney Chapel, but smaller, okay? And uh, uh, just a beautiful, beautiful church. And the soprano started the first verse. Only the sopranos, a cappello. And then the soprano, does say sopranos. How about the no, sopranos, that's right, sopranos. Then the altos. Then the tenors joined. So you had a, it was building. And then the bass joined all four. I'm telling you what, <laughs> man, it just gripped your soul. I mean, it was the most awesome song experience that I can say I've, I've one, of the, one of the few that I've experienced that was just so moving 
a cappello, and strictly about the holiness of God. What a great, great song. So let's, let's stand together as we sing this song. Page three. Holy, holy, holy. And we're actually going to sing all four verses. Okay. It's nice to have all the visitors with us here today, but I know in particular, I know Peyton is glad to have his grandmother here. And so, Ann, we're glad you're here and hope that this is a blessing to you. And, and, uh, and, and I know it's a blessing to Peyton to have you here. He's excited about that. I want you to turn your hymnals once again to 649. Peyton is going to play a rendition of When I Look Into Your Holiness. And again, we want to take time to look at these words on 649 because the music is wonderful music, but the message is what we need for our soul because we can be moved by all kinds of music, and that's good. Uh, music is a gift of God, but to know the meanings, to know the words is what really matters. It says, when I look into your holiness... We just got through singing about that. 
when I look into your holiness, when I gaze into your loveliness, when all things that surround become shadows in the light of thee or you, when I found the joy of reaching your heart, when my will becomes enthralled in your joy, when all things that surround become shadows in the light of you, I worship you. Hmm. I worship you. The reason I live is to worship you. I worship you. I worship you. The reason I live is to worship you. What great words and what a great song.
Again, if you'll take your hymnals and turn to 146, 146. We just heard, when I look into your holiness, and the conclusion of that is, I worship you, I worship you. On page 146, we see a song that was written again in the dedication, again, of to worship you, the mighty God. And the scripture there says, I worship the Lord, the God of heaven, which made the sea and the dry land, Jonah 1, 9. Let's sing to that together please. I worship you almighty God. I worship you the page we see another great song of the faith how great thou art let's stand together for this song if we could page 147 how great thou art O lord my god when i in awesome wonder consider all the worlds thy hands have made
unto thee. be seated. In just a minute, uh, Peyton is going to play three classical numbers. Uh, I just want to let you know ahead of time, at the end of this concert, we're going to be taking a love offering for Peyton. Uh, and if you would like to make checks out, if you'll make them out to Bethel Baptist, B-E-T-H-E-L, Baptist Church, the monies collected will be going directly to his school bill. And uh, he's working this summer for cash money and school bill. But uh, that way, there's uh, tax benefits for you, no tax benefit, I mean, obligation for him, and it, and it will help pay off that school bill. And so uh, one of the things I have to say, Peyton has been very faithful here in this church over the years. He's uh, been more than willing last week. He was at the VBS working and playing piano and so forth up here at the uh, Mennonite Church. And I understood that on at least one of the nights, they asked him, there was some spare time, and they asked him if he'd be willing to play a, a song. And so he sat down, and how many of you are from the Mennonite Church today? Anybody at all? I don't know, but I know that they said they were thrilled to death, I know, hearing him play. So anyway, we want to just, uh, again, just thank Thank you for your faithfulness and looking forward to what God is going to do for you. Also, one other thing. It's good to have Leandra Richardson here for us. She did a concert for us about, uh, what, four months ago, maybe? March. March. And I'm telling you what, guys. Either one of these young people would be excellent if you'd like to have them come to your church and put on a concert. Uh, what a blessing. Uh, Leander plays vi violin. I don't know. You play all kinds of stuff, don't you? Violin, piano, guitar. I don't know what all. But probably Morocco. What are those things? No, no, no. Okay. But, uh, but anyway, what a blessing she was. And so I just want you to know, if you're from another church and you want a, 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 a great worship concert, Leandra or Peyton, either one of them. You know, it's great to have young people that are giving themselves to the Lord. 
And so thank you for being here today as well, Leandra. It was a real surprise. So um, I will now be quiet and let you play. <laughs> Why don't you introduce what you're playing? Yeah. So, uh, hey everybody, I'm Peyton. I should probably stand. I'm Peyton, thanks for, thanks for coming out. Uh, so I'm gonna be playing three classical pieces, and the first one is a piece by Rachmaninoff, and it's Rachmaninoff's Poly Chanel. And there's actually, there is a funny story behind this one. So I was down at college, and I was playing uh, on one of their baby grand pianos, and I was playing this, you know, I was going at it, and the very last note, I snapped the string on the piano. <laughs> It's funny now, wasn't funny then. <laughs> but, so let's hope it doesn't happen here. But I'll go ahead and play it. <laughs> major and uh, another name for it is raindrops. Mm -hmm. 
Thank mm-hmm. you.
and this last piece is going to be a WC piece. Uh, WC is a French composer, and the title of this piece is Valse Romantique. singing two more hymns here if you'll turn to page 105 in your hymnal 105 and 106 we will glorify the king of kings and then the second is worthy you are worthy king of kings lord of lords let's sing again 
105, We Will Glorify. The first three stanzas. And the fourth. By the King of Kings, we will glorify the Lamb. We will glorify the Lord of Lords, who is the great I Am. Lord Jehovah reigns in majesty. We will bow before His throne. We will worship Him in righteousness. We will worship Him alone. He is Lord of heaven, Lord of earth. He is Lord of all who live. He is Lord above the universe. All praise to Him we give. Hallelujah to the King. the verse on page 106 worthy is the lamb to receive honor and glory and power let's stand on this last one please because the whole family just about plays or sings music. Matter of fact, as they're getting ready here, I'm going to, if you're related to Peyton, would you stand, please? Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. All of you could have stood if you're a believer in Christ, right? So that is good. Um, mom and dad, dad, mom, brothers and sisters, uh, we have some nephews and nieces. Are they downstairs? They're in the cage downstairs. <laughs> and so anyway, but uh, it's good to have the family here as well. They're going to be singing? Yep. All right. <laughs> I do. I will do that. Hello. Am I on, Levi? Yeah. Of course, I don't need a mic. Uh, I do need to say this. I am so blessed. <laughs> I, I really, really, truly am. I have a wonderful wife. I love my mother-in-law. <laughs> I have a really good life. 
I have a church family. I have children that I like. <laughs> it, it is a humbling and yet exhilarating feeling to be able to play with my children. They have all the talent. They just let dad hang out and it's really pretty cool. I say that, and I'm not trying to, to brag in any sort of way, but this is, Peyton and I did this. This is our first collaboration. And we hope it's a fun sort of thing. It's, it's out of actually, um, the inspiration came from Psalm 1. So here we go. And if I make a mistake, just remember it's the old guy, so it's okay. <laughs> Yeah. 
Hebrew uh, theme earlier. We had classical, and I kept waiting for somebody to pull out guns and start shooting on that one. <laughs> a little bit of Western there going on. I felt like I was out in the Old West. But a great song that y'all put together there, again, from Psalm 1. I'm going to have uh, Joe, if you could come up, and David, would you mind helping with offering? And uh, how about uh, in the back, Noah, could you slip up here on the side? I appreciate that. We'll get three of you up here. Again, uh, if this offering will go uh, right to uh, Peyton's school bill, every dime of it. We don't keep a thing. If you would like to use envelope in the back of the pew, you're welcome to do that. You can write your name and address. We'll get you a tax uh, deductible letter to you at the end of the year. And so, again, uh, we want you to uh, give as God has blessed. So let's pray together. Father, we thank you that you love us. We thank you that we can enjoy music and worship one with another. And it doesn't matter where we come from, backgrounds. It's irrelevant, Lord. If we're in you, we're one in Christ. And we thank you for that. And so I just pray, God, that you would bless Peyton, help him, Lord, to keep his eyes set on you, help him to learn the skills and use those skills, Lord, for your glory, and we'll give you the praise for all that in Jesus' name. Amen. As soon as we're done taking the offering, I'm going to turn this over to Peyton, and again, I know with him it's uh, be a, a, a real joy just to share some things. Hmm? Entertainer is my last piece. <laughs> 